Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here I wanted to share with you how to debug API call from Flutter framework using Postman as well. So let's go ahead and do that. L let's first understand what's going to happen. Over here, I'm going to sign in with Google. And as I sign in, actually, I capture this sign in object over here inside this variable, which is user. And then from user, I get like display name, email ID, ID, and photo URL, which is these are all coming from flutter firebase now i mean firebase actually and then i assign each of these value to a model that i created so the object name is login panel list request entity you can call it anything now over here first this uh, this so we'll send this information to the server now what i send actually i want to grab it and print it now, as I was saving this object, saving these values in this object, so I want to print them. So let's go ahead and print. Now, since this is an object, I'm going to do JSON encode. So it would become a string. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So, and then after that, this method would get called. And this method actually eventually calls this login API, which is user API.login and there is an endpoint so which actually refers to the endpoint over here this is our endpoint login endpoint and then it refers to a method over here login method okay now over here we try to submit user information in the back end like as you can see over here so we submit user information and along the way, if we have any error, as we try to submit user information, if we have error, we return the error in this format over here, which is also like a JSON format when it returns. So now let's go ahead and try to hit this button and see what happens. So remember, we'll first print our information over here. And at the same time, if we have error, we'll get the error message from here. So I'll open up my terminal over here and then i'm going to hit this so over here we see that we have error messages and actually this is what i expected over here now one of the thing it says that yes uh, it, you should call this one okay so i'm going to go ahead and add this So here I'm just simply going to add this blur and here we do just ex exactly what it says all right let's save it and let's see if we have other error or not over here we do have error over here as well as over here which said unknown error and if we can pinpoint then actually we would come over here and actually it also refers to this one over here so this is the information that we get from flutter framework but one of the important information that i'm giving which is this one actually so this is what i was trying to post now and this is what actually printed over here as well now this is the information that was i was trying to post and then i get error now what i'm going to do i'm going to take this one and i'll try postman and to see if we have any error from the server as well remember on the server side we have this uh, mechanism where we can catch the error and return now on the flutter framework on flutter framework we don't have enough information i think so yes we do have a bit of information where it says that go ahead and do this one but i'm sure that it's not with this one okay all right so let's go ahead and open up our postman so this is what i have but the format may look a bit weird let's see if we click on beautify yes okay great and now we are going to hit the send button and we'll see how it goes all right we do see that we have status code 200 and if we see over here but exactly it is not 200. now the reason is returning 200 because here actually we are returning a correct json code but inside the json code actually we are also returning our error this is the error actually now if you come and analyze over here of course the first c we see pdo error most of the time it is mysql database error now over here it says that hey you don't have a phone number so it's unknown phone column field so this is the problem 
And that's why we are not able to send this information and we have this error. So I'm going to fix it. So I need to go ahead and add this database column. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here and click alter table. And then at the end, I'm going to add a new field. So which is be phone and then I'll keep everything as same and then I'll do apply and apply. So I added this. Okay, great. Now I could do a test either on Postman from now, but I know it would work. I could also do a test from Flutter Framework itself. So I want to do it from Flutter Framework and we'll see if we have this error or not. Now I'm going to log in one more time and then I'm going to sign in with Google and then I'm going to select this and let's do this time. Okay, perfect. So we don't have any error and this is the information that we posted. And if we check our database over here, let's go ahead and check it. And I'm going to select this. And we also see that there is a record for this user. So here there is a record for this user. So job three EMG, and we have access token, avatar token, and things like that. And this is the exact information we also see over here, like part of it, of course, not all of it. Okay. So yeah, that's how you go ahead debug front end and API call. Thank you.